El Mio Filipino uh, started in 2017 and it became my flagship uh, research and uh, project. And um, while this is my first solo exhibition, I also consider this one as a collective work with my collaborators who are uh, the Filipino workers who generously helped me throughout uh, the process by by being so generous in, uh, in welcoming me in their spaces, but also in being so comfortable uh, of collaborating with me to create this uh, research. From 2017, I started to document uh, the movement and gestures of uh, Filipino workers and how their body relate to space. And uh, through this uh, documentation, I was able to develop videos that is also connected on my practice as a, as a filmmaker. And later on, I went back to my practice as a performer uh, and tried to, uh, to um, understand and to create performances through their movement and uh, understanding also the narratives that they shared to me, uh, I was able to relate it to the history of uh, slavery, colonization, and exhaustion uh, in the Philippines, where it came from and how it, is, it has been translated into the um, contemporary definition of uh, exhaustion, of care, of hospitality, uh, especially of uh, overseas Filipino workers, which is uh, um, one of the strongest, I think, uh, if I can call them community uh, or product, I think, that is being produced by Philippines. Uh, this performance is, uh, I think, a love letter to my mom because of uh, her history also um, as a domestic worker in the Middle East um, for uh, certain years uh, to help our family to survive. When I arrived here in Italy, I thought that there's no other possibility for me to be a filmmaker or to be an artist uh, because of this uh, stereotype. Uh, which is also embedded in actually the how Filip uh, Filipinos here perceive their fellow Filipinos. Uh, they, they, they told me, okay, you are an artist in the Philippines. Uh, some of us were doctors or some of us were teachers in the Philippines, but you are in a different geography. And this geography asks you to be a cleaning worker or a care worker. Uh, so they're the one who taught me how to clean. They're very welcoming because I think this is part of how we relate as community. They want, you to, they want to help you also. But I think this is also something that we have to, to destroy in, in, uh, in the sensibility of, for, uh, for us Filipinos, of how we, we imagine the possibilities of all of us. Not just only that we arrive in this country, we will be cleaning workers or care workers. I am not maligning uh, their work. I think they are one of the strongest uh, people, uh, workers in the front line in taking care of this country, the Western country, you know, uh, carrying the domestic role of Western country so that it can function. But then also, I think it is important to 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 rethink and to reflect other possibilities that what this body can do, what can our imagination can create, you know, new vision, new possibilities. Uh, since this is constructed in their sub, uh, subconscious, uh, sometimes, uh, without, again, without maligning their, their capacity, they, they don't have uh, so much time to think about this. But to present this to them and to uh, collectively work with them uh, in the process of creating performances, in the process of 
thinking with them uh, what what they think about uh, about the exhibition what they think about uh, the processes that we are doing uh, for them to be involved I think this is one way that we that is important that we are creating tools with them with cinema I can do I, I think with respect to my collaborators uh, which I work with a very small crew I we can create it, create it quietly uh, and uh, juxtapose our imagination based from the store from one particular stories that we want to follow it might be fiction or documentary but i think right now with uh, visual art and performances collective thinking collective work is uh, is very important and very present not only with my collaborators, for example, with, uh, with uh, people that I am working uh, with right now in, in uh, organizing um, this uh, exhibition, uh, Spazio Grio, Matatoyo. Cinema for me has something, uh, uh, has something to do a lot with the memory of the world, with the memory of, of, of humanity. And with performances, I think, it provokes the present. It provokes the now. It provokes of what are we doing right now. It uh, it gives a lot of possibility for collective action. Uh, I think the most important thing right now that uh, me personally experiencing with the things that I'm doing with visual art and performances is that it is slowly creating communities, activating uh, the Filipino community. Um, which is not sort of saviorism, but something like uh, a collective work, a collective work. Because uh, the beauty of this work is that the people who I started working with, to, with from 2017 are still with me and it's continuously growing. And I think this is how you see that the work is, is uh, moving, by creating this small thread in small pulses that resonate to others.